In this video, we will implement the trace object top functionality. The second function will be trace object top. This function will be called each time to make the spare trace to trace the object top. Three variables are added. Top trace gap is the gap between the traces. set to 50. Top trace start length is the height needed to set the start location of the object top trace. Set the value to 90. Top trace depth is the length of the spear trace. Set the value to 100. Index number for the trace is passed as a parameter. Hit location is also passed as parameter, which is the location identified by the detect object in front function. Add a spear trace by channel. And set the radius to 6. Draw debug type as for duration. Top trace gap and index multiplied gives the actual distance of the trace start from the hit location identified by the detect object in front function. Multiply it with the character forward vector to get the right direction. Now add the top trace start length to the z axis of the hit location to raise the start position of the trace. This will be the start for the spear trace by channel. Subtract the top trace depth value to get the end of the spear trace by channel.
break the hit result return the location and the trace start along with the boolean if there is a hit This completes the function trace object top. Go to the event graph. Remove the temporary end ability. Add the second for loop with break. Add the last index as 7 to iterate it 7 times. Add a custom event break second loop to the break. Call the trace object top helper function for each iteration. Pass the index and hit location from the detect object in front. If there is a hit, and the index is 0, then set the vault start point. Otherwise, in the false condition, set the location to the vault loop point. This will set the last location to the vault loop point. When the ease hit is false, we will enter the landing location logic, but for time being, to test the vault start point and the vault loop point, let's end the ability temporarily. Test the shooter gym level. You can see the hit markers scanning the top of the object. In the next video, we will implement the landing logic and then identify the vault end point.